Okay, frequently during a flooding event, it's important for us to be thinking about the propane tank that might be sitting outside of the house. And there are some things that we need to think about long in advance and other things that we need to be thinking about uh, if a flood event is imminent. And we're at a, a propane tank here today and the first thing that we're going to look at is that if we're expecting a flood event to occur, we probably should be looking at filling the tank because that full tank will weigh more and will be more secure than if we had an empty tank. In essence, with an empty tank, we just have a, a cork or bobber that's going to float away. And so as we look at a propane tank, typically we'll have a lid similar to this. And so you just lift that up and there will be a gauge that will indicate what percentage of fill occurs in this tank. We would want to look at trying to have that tank filled well in advance of the flood event if we are able to uh, know that a, a flood might be imminent. The reason for that is that frequently we'll get into a situation where uh, roads may become impassable or, or for other reasons, um, you know, it's just a supply and demand issue sometimes whether they can get to your tank and have it filled. So this would be one thing to look at in advance. The next thing would be to make sure that you know how to shut off the, the fuel. Uh, if a flooding is going to occur, then we'll want to come into a tank and close the valve so that we don't have uh, the potential of the propane coming out of that tank in a flood event. And as most valves, you would turn clockwise or to the right to shut that down. And you turn it left to open just like you would any other uh, type of valve or anything, even a jar as you're opening it. One other thing to consider, uh, again, maybe in advance of that flood event is, is to look at how we have this tank anchored or do we need to have that tank anchored. And for a propane tank, uh, typically it's going to look very similar to this one where we'll have legs on the bottom and ideal would be to put down a, a concrete pad that would have anchor bolts. Those anchor bolts would come through into the, the feet and you would anchor it down that way. Other options that are shown are to put a strap over the top with, with anchors that are screwed into the ground. Of course, that would need to be done in advance and one of the concerns with doing that is do we end up with rusting or uh, deterioration wherever those straps go over the tank. Uh, another benefit of having the concrete there is that it, it's a nice heavy weight and it, it will serve as a, a drain area to move the water away from the tank. If we don't have some kind of anchor or strap over that tank and flooding is imminent, uh, we will want to try to tie it down in some way so it, it doesn't float away. Uh, just a, a chain to something that is a permanent attached, uh, whether it's a tree or something else, uh, so that we make sure that this propane tank doesn't end up floating down the river. In this situation, what they have actually done is they have a, an earthen dike around the house and that then uh, gives us the opportunity to have the propane tank inside that diked area and protected from the, the flooding. If we put the tank to the outside, then of course uh, we need to be anchoring it and, and being more concerned about that tank in a flood event.